Thoughts? Yeah, and and make sure that you take the assessment at the earliest. I would say tomorrow, or if you say you want to spend few hours brushing through some of the areas, then do it over Saturday or Sunday. Okay, over to you, Beit. Thank you. Okay, Anything thank else, you, Rufina. Fine, Ubed, you can go start. What is it, Smita? No, 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 nothing, nothing. Okay. Maybe you can get started. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, thank you, Smita. So, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Ubed Shah. I'm from Board Infinity. <clears throat> so, in this session, I will guide you through uh, the course that is offered by Board Infinity, and that is for free. And I will uh, also help you uh, to prepare for the certification examination for the NASCOM. Okay, so let me first share my screen. Okay. So... Okay. so here you can see, uh, this is a course, uh, I assume that uh, you all have completed this course. Okay, so I will first walk you through this course. Uh, so uh, there are total four, uh, sorry, five modules in this course. So the first module is a very basic module and it is just an introduction uh, to the data science. Okay, so the first two modules are just an introduction to the data science. So it will uh, guide you uh, what are the different different you can say the career perspectives in data science domain because uh, data science is not a very small domain okay so there are so many screen is not visible okay it is visible for us please try logging off and logging in again okay so <clears throat> it will just give you an insight uh, how uh the data science domain works okay and what are the different different you can say the fields that are available in the data science and what are the different career perspectives that are available uh in the data science domain okay now after that there is a third module uh from where uh, the technical you can say the lecture started and all the lectures are uh, in the form of videos and this is uh, the third module business analytics with the excel okay so in this module uh, we have covered all the basic requirement for the excel okay and that are uh, also uh, required for the business analytics purpose okay so this is uh, around eight hours course and in this uh, around 50 videos are covered from uh, basics to the moderate level Okay, so uh, not uh, very hard questions are, uh, or you can say the advanced topics are covered, but uh, these are just to, uh, you can say, uh, familiarize with uh, the business analytics and every basic tool is, uh, you can say, given in these uh, video lectures. Okay, now there is another uh, section, fundamentals of SQL. So in this also, uh, we have given you the material. Uh, which is required for the basic understanding of the databases, okay, how databases works uh, in the data science domain and how to create uh, different databases, how to modify different databases, okay. Uh, and for that one, we have uh, specifically used uh, one RDBMS, MySQL, okay. So there are so many uh, SQL packages available in the market, but uh, this course uh, uh, have all the videos dedicated to the MySQL, okay? And the final module from the course was Python for data science, okay? And in this also, we have covered uh, from basic to the advanced, okay? So all the topics like uh, uh, basics of Python, then NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. So in the basic part, we have covered 
uh, the all the algorithms required for the control statement, what are the data types, data structures uh, in the Python. And after that, we have covered uh, what is uh, what are different different you can say the data science uh, uh, libraries available. Uh, the first one was NumPy that is used for the numerical calculation in Python. And uh, second one is Pandas that is required for uh, the importing the data from uh, anywhere, okay, especially from the CSV. Now there is two visualization, uh, you can say the libraries that are available in Python. Uh, first is Matplotlib and the second one is the C1, okay. So this was the, uh, you can say the overall course that we have provided for the free. Now, after that, <clears throat> you are going for uh, the certification examination. Okay. Now I will just give you a brief about the certification examination uh, from the, you can say the NASCOM. So that certification course, uh, sorry, certification examination is of, you can say the 60 minutes. Okay. And in that 60 minute, you need to solve around 35 questions. Okay. Now, these questions uh, are mixed pool of Excel, then SQL, then Python. Okay. So there is no, you can say the proportional, uh, proportional available. Like uh, if you see that uh, there are three modules, uh, you cannot say that 33% of the questions are coming from the Excel or 33% questions are from SQL or Python, okay? So there can, can be any variable proportion uh, of these topics, okay? Now all these, uh, you can say uh, the questions, 35 questions are of different, different types, okay? So uh, uh, as there are like, uh, if you see, uh, the first type you can say that uh, that are the straightforward questions straightforward questions okay and in the straightforward questions i mean that uh, that will be like uh, 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 definition based questions okay so any uh, keyword or any function will be given in the question and uh, you need to identify what is the definition Second is a general question, okay? So any general term from, you can say the SQL, SQL or Python that will be asked in the question, okay? Like uh, what is the extension of a uh, Jupyter notebook file, okay? So the four options will be given to you like uh, .py, .ipy and the .sql or .exl, okay? So these are just a straightforward question. So you know that the answer will be like dot ipy and b okay will be the right answer okay now the second type of question that is covered in the examination is what will be the output okay so the gauge the output kind of question gauge the output okay so you will be provided a code snippet like this okay so there will be a code snippet and you will be asked what will be the output what will be the output of the following code of the following code okay so there will be a code uh, uh, and that code is from like uh, sql or python okay and in that also you are, the questions is from uh, the functions okay most of the time the functions are covered from Python and uh, uh, or Pandas questions, okay? Pandas questions, okay? Most of the questions are from the functions and the Pandas. And there are also very uh, small, small, you can say the conceptualized questions are, are also available, okay? Uh, that like uh, there are only one or two lines of code and you need to just guess what will be the output of the code. Now the output of the code will be given in uh, the option. Okay, so uh, every question like uh, uh, out of these 35 question, no question is multi-select questions. Okay, so all the questions like a single choice question. 
okay so you you do not need to worry about that uh, uh, this code will give you the multiple outputs okay so there will be a only single choice and you need to select that one okay so no multi select kind of questions will, will be there okay so similarly from the sql also uh, there are some uh, queries are given okay uh, based upon some you can say the database so database structure uh, was also provided in the examination and based on that uh, data uh, table uh, you have been provided a sql query and based on that sql query sql query okay you need to identify or guess the what will be the output of that sql query okay so this is the second type of you can say the question is asked then third type is scenario based questions scenario based questions okay now these scenario based questions will contain a uh, different different kind of you can say the uh, flavors of the questions like uh, this will be a straight forward uh, multi uh, sorry single select questions or these questions will be like uh, uh, a scenario is given to you okay and based on that scenario in the uh, options you will be provided with the codes okay so suppose a scenario is given to you over here in the question and according to that scenario in order to complete the task inside that scenario okay inside that scenario you need to identify the code given in the option okay so there are total four codes will be provided to you okay a different different you can say the codes and you need to identify which will be uh, best suitable for this uh, you can scenario okay now there may be chances that all the codes will be look like identical okay so you will be get confused that okay, uh, okay. yes okay just a second there are some black uh, boxes on your screen like can you reshare it i think some of the things are not visible so yeah okay okay just whatever i have written over here it is not visible no we can see that i think on the top there are some two like uh, horizontal like, boxes yeah 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 okay 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 just now is it visible the boxes are gone no no beth it's like worse now we're just seeing a big black box in front in the in the middle yeah okay sorry for that Now is this gone? No, they are still there. I don't know what is happening over here. So upper area is visible. Yes. Okay, so I will I will doodle over here. I don't know what is technical difficulty, so I will just draw over here. Okay, so I was talking about uh, the third type of questions. Okay, so like uh, that was a scenario based question. Scenario based questions, and in that scenario based questions, you uh, you are, you are provided a scenario. Okay, so the description. will be of uh, in some questions the description is of like two lines of description and in in some cases it is a paragraph given to you okay around five to six lines of uh, you can say the uh, description is provided to you a detailed description is provided to you and based on that descriptions you need to identify what will be the correct code out of four options okay now there may be chances that suppose if the question is from pandas okay pandas data frame pandas data frame and 
there will be uh, the four options uh, and all of the options look like similar okay so in every options like if there are total six line six to seven lines of codes it is provided in the option so there is a slight change in a single line okay so all upper part and the lower part of the code is similar in each cases in each cases but uh, you can say in between there is a slight change in the code okay so you need to identify whether it is uh, matching with our scenario or not okay so all the questions will give you uh, the uh, answer okay so there will be some output but there uh, because of this line uh, the output will be different okay so there will be no error chance okay uh, every code will run uh, you can say uh, successfully that will compile successfully but because of this uh, different line the output will be different okay so you need to identify uh, whether it is matching with your scenario or not okay and there is a fourth kind of question uh, like uh, uh, the question is given to you in uh, you can say a, a very a single line question okay there is a single line question and that is a syntax okay so what what is the syntax of this what is the syntax of that okay so there are so many options functions are given so this syntax question is uh, from all the three topics okay so first topic is excel second is sql and the third one is python okay so the syntax question is from all the three topics and you need to just identify so uh, like uh, if it is come from uh, uh, excel so the question will be like what is the syntax of what is the syntax of uh, if function in excel okay so there will there are total four uh, options will be given and uh, you need to identify what will be the syntax of this function okay so these four types of questions are generally asked in the certification examination from the nascom for this uh, data science beginner schools okay now <clears throat> not each of the topics uh, uh, you can say hands on topics are covered in the in this course because this is the introductory course and this is only walking you through uh, what are the basic concepts of the excel sql and the python okay so before going to the examination you need more hands on practice okay more hands on practice and to do so uh, i have selected uh, or i am sharing you uh, the three websites for uh, the three topics okay so you you can uh, you can say clarify your all the doubts from these video lectures okay because all the video lectures are uh, there is no you can say uh, the hands on uh, questions are given to you you need to uh, pro, uh, do some hands on practice and to do so we are having uh, these uh, three top uh, websites okay so the first is uh, for excel okay so there are total uh, you can say this is the career icons website and on this website there are total 13 sets of questions uh, are given to you okay and each set consists of 50 questions so total uh, you can say the 650 questions are given to you on this website okay and all these are like a multiple choice question and similar kind of question will be asked uh, in not the same questions similar type of questions will be asked in the examination okay so you should be well aware okay like here you can see this is a scenario based question okay and there is like a uh, this question fill in the blanks kind of question okay and there are so many what will be the formula okay then this is the formula you need to select from this one okay so these uh, you can say the uh, sets of uh, practice sets uh, will be uh, sufficient for you to prepare for the certification examination for the microsoft okay uh, topics okay all the topics are from the microsoft excel so there are total 650 questions uh, on this website so you can select any of the set and you can uh, start practicing all these you can say the excel questions okay now after that <clears throat> Uh, you need to get some general idea from Python and SQL. So, so that uh, there is a website called very famous website. It is Geeks for Geeks. Okay. And in that uh, Geeks for Geeks, there is a tutorial sections provided over here. And in that 
there is a language part okay and in that language tab there are two languages python and sql okay so when you select any of these uh, you will be redirected to this uh, web page where the basic idea or you can say the theoretical uh, uh, information is available regarding each of the topics uh, that are covered in uh, board infinity's videos okay so every topic is uh, available over here and you need to just uh, go through this one okay before going to the examination because uh, many of the questions are general questions so you, you don't need to you can say worry during the examination when you read all this uh, you can say the theoretical uh, 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 material from these gigs for gigs okay so it is available for uh, the structured query language that is for the sql uh, and uh, there is another python okay so when you click on this uh, python, wait. Uh, yeah. could you please send us the urls in the chat as well so that uh, people can use it. okay 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 so yeah. i'll just i'll just send this uh, url in the chat okay so <clears throat> so excel for this excel and for this gigs for gigs okay and the third one is for the scenario based questions what will be the uh, guess the output kind of questions you need to practice from this w3 resources okay when you go to this w3 resources website there is a exercise online editor is available okay so when you see inside this box there are so many topics are available so our main topics are python numpy pandas okay then there is a matplotlib then mysql okay so these are our topics so when you click on this python suppose <clears throat> then there are so many questions available from python okay so these are all 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 of all of are like a hands on kind of thing okay so here they have asked you the question okay so what will be the output of here you can see how i wonder and this will be the uh, question okay this is the question and this is uh, the statement question statement okay now you can directly practice from here go to the editor it will redirect to you the uh, the online editor or you can see uh, the sample solution from here when you click on this sample solution so it will redirect to you a detailed solution of this question okay so this will be the detailed solution of this question so from here you can see the steps are also given and at the bottom there is a online editor is also given okay so from here also you can practice uh, the scenario based questions and uh, guess the output kind of questions okay so this w3 resource website is uh, required uh, before going to the examination okay so here also you can see this is this will be the question okay the sample data is given to you and also when you click on this one so you will be redirected to this web page okay the solution page and the python code is given to you you can understand how uh, the the solution is given to you you can modify it you can create in your own logic okay so there are so many to solve a single question in python there are multiple logics you can apply okay so you can also try it in your own way so there is uh, this python code editor is available also you can use your jupyter notebook okay so there is no matter uh, uh, whether you use their online editor or your jupyter notebook okay so there is only need to you, you need to just uh, get some hands on experience if you don't get hands on experience if you just only watch all these videos you will not be able to uh, crack the uh, certification a certificate examination okay so <clears throat> this uh, website's link i am also providing to you in the chat box just a minute w3 resources okay so all the links are provided to you in the chat box. The one is career icons for the Microsoft Excel. Okay. And gigs for gigs for Python and SQL theory questions and W3 resources for hands-on 
uh, questions. Okay, so all the exercises are available over here. Around uh, 1000 or 1500 questions are available. Okay, so you, you just need to solve any selective questions so that you will get uh, the complete understanding. Okay, so you don't need to solve all the questions. Okay, so if you see over here, if I just click on this Python, okay, and if you see in the exercise, uh, Python basics 150 questions, Python basics 150 questions. So there are so many questions are available in this website. Okay. So you don't just need to solve every question. Okay. You just select any of the questions, try to solve in your own logic. If you don't understand, then solutions are also provided on this website. Okay. So you just uh, do practice so that you get familiar with the, uh, what will be the proper syntax, what will be the proper, you can say, algorithm you need to follow to solve a particular question and after that just watching at the questions you will be uh, able to guess what will be the output of this code okay so you need to uh, uh, just do some hands-on practice on this website okay so <clears throat> is there any question from your site if you don't understand any anything so you can ask me regarding this certification examination <clears throat> you can ask me in the chat box. Also, with if you could, you know, uh, restart this application that you're using for drawing. I think that is the issue for this black screen. I'm I'm using this uh, zooms uh, okay. uh, anno annotated only. I'm not using anything. All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you. The examination. Whenever you, I think pur purchase is available no, for examination. Yeah, so you can appear for examination whenever you are available. So most probably by this weekend, you should be appearing for it. Okay, so can you see this certification? Certificate, can you see this certificate? I have just appeared on 31st of this January. Can you see this? Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so here you can see <clears throat> uh, to qualify the examination, uh, you get a different, different, uh, you can see the marks. Uh, Your screen is all black. They have bit. given you. Okay, sorry. Is it visible now? Yeah, it is loading. Just a minute. Is it visible? It is still loading a bit. Okay. Oh, it's all black. Okay, So what I will do, I will just open it in different browser. Let's see. In the same browser. Now is it visible? It is loading. Okay, so there are total, you can say uh, the four, three categories. Okay, uh, the first category is of like a gold category. Second is silver category. I, I, I'm not sharing the scene. I will just tell you the word verbally okay so there are like three categories first category 
uh, is of uh, you can say the gold category second is silver category and third one is the bronze category okay so if you got marks uh, from 50 to 59 then you will be awarded a bronze medal then if you uh, uh, get marks between 60 to 69 then you will be get uh, uh, the silver medal and if you got uh, marks more than 70 percent then uh, you will be awarded a uh, gold medal okay so there are three categories for this certificate examination examination okay so try to get a marks more than 70 percent okay so that you will get the gold <clears throat> So is there any question how to prepare still? Uh, hi, hi, Ubed. This is Shubhash is from NASCAR. Mm -hmm. Hi. So, uh, uh, I'm sure uh, students will have some questions related to assessment, which they will be asking through chat. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just wanted to mention that I am sure some people who have joined today, today's session uh, will be registering for this data science for beginners program mm -hmm. or maybe have just started the program so mm -hmm. would like you to if you can touch upon some you know industry snapshot industry perspective on data science as a program or as a technology and can give them some brief uh, idea about how to go for this program on future skill prime that will help okay so basically <clears throat> The data science is, uh, you can say, uh, the vast domain and data science and artificial intelligence, as you can see, uh, uh, the emergence of uh, the chat GPT recently and uh, uh, Google is competing to that chat GPT. Okay, so this is all based on the artificial intelligence uh, based, uh, you can say, the application. Okay, and in that chat GPT, if you see that uh, if you uh, enter any question okay so you will be getting the answer a detailed answer okay now in order to create that chat gpt uh, the technology that uh, the open ai company has used is uh, the nlp technology okay and uh, the nlp technology uh, it is from the artificial intelligence domain and in what happens in artificial intelligence you create the applications okay even though uh, uh, or you can say you can create an application which mimic the human behavior okay which think like humans okay which behave like humans so that field is called you can say the artificial intelligence and in order to support to create that kind of applications you need some you can say the software behind the uh, behind that uh, applications okay so that software are created in you can say the machine learning uh, field okay and to create that uh, software okay uh, and uh, to you can say to train uh, uh, the model and to test the model we need some you can say the data data required okay and that data to be very cleaned okay there should be no ambiguity in the data there should be no biasness in the data to get the clean data we are having data engineering uh, branch okay and in order to get some business insights okay so what will what will happen in the future like in case of the stock market if you observe the daily trends of the data and you uh, based upon that trends, you will identify what will happen next, okay? After one year, two year, three year, or after uh, two, uh, two minutes, three minutes, or one hour, okay? So all these are based on the historical pattern that is read by the software and uh, it will give you the prediction, okay? So this is like business intelligence, data engineering artificial intelligence all combined together it is a vast domain okay and data science is a sub domain of all these you can say the uh, main main domains okay so if you see 
what is what comes under the data science domain so we can say that artificial intel some part of the artificial intelligence term in the data science domain uh, some part of business intelligence data analytics then some part of machine learning okay so all technologies together you can say the data engineering okay big data all technologies together or you can say the it is the intersection of, of all the sets okay data science is the intersection of all the sets which is trying to solve the problem of the different different domain so whenever you go to the industry you are not only so, uh, solving the problem from the machine learning domain or you are not just doing the business intelligence or you are not just doing something okay there is one more emerging field in the data science that is called ml ops okay machine learning operations that is the combination of machine learning development and devops okay machine learning devops so previously it is from only devops okay that was the software engineering you can say the domain but right now ml ops is also an emerging field okay so all these comes under you can say uh, the data science domain and in order to get into that data science domain you need uh, to have some certain skill sets okay so certain skill sets means first of all you need some coding background okay so the python is a very basic and extensively used coding language in this data science domain okay after that you need to deal with the data okay so in order to deal with the data we are having uh, dbms okay and in order to uh, 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 connect with that dbms we are having different rdbms okay so uh, like mysql okay so mysql is one of the rdbms which connect with the data okay which is help to fetch data from different different you can say the servers or databases okay after that when you fetch the data you need to do some data wrangling data cleaning okay data crawling okay so you need to identify whether some uh, you can say the cleaning is uh, required or not okay so, so suppose there are some null values there are uh, columns the uh, in which data uh, in which you can say the complete data is available okay in a single column like address in the address the zip code is available the name of the state is available the name of uh, the country is available the name of the place is available okay so in order to uh, create the separate separate columns uh, from that uh, single column you need to do some you can say uh, the uh, application on uh, in, in the software okay so for that purpose we are using sql or basically if you are having a smaller data then excel okay after getting the cleaner data you need to identify what are the trends and patterns in the data okay so in order to identify what are the trends and patterns in the data we are having different different business intelligence tools okay now one of the tool is like tableau or power bi okay and there is uh, one more tool excel where you can uh, identify what are the different different trends in uh, from the data you will just get the basic insight from the data okay now there is one more you can say uh, if 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 you are cleaning your data by using the python okay and in that python you are also having data visualization um, uh, you can say the libraries that are the <clears throat> matplotlib cbon then uh, plotly okay so this will give you all the insights okay while uh, doing some eda okay exploratory data analysis okay now after doing some exploratory data analysis you need to identify which uh, you can say the feature or uh, which uh, variable is uh, more you can say uh, dominant towards the target variable okay after identifying the trend and the relationship between the feature and the uh, the target variable you need to uh, uh, identify what are uh, uh, what are the different different you can say the target variables are available okay so in order to get the idea like whether it is uh, 
categorical variable is there okay whether it is a numerical variable qualitative and quantitative there are two variables whether it is continuous or uh, it is a discrete variable okay in the uh, categorical variable if it is ordinal or uh, you can say uh, nominal okay if it is ordinal or if it is ordinal or nominal then whether it is multi multiple category variable or you can say the by uh, only there are binary uh, variables are available okay you just need to identify all these things after identifying all these things you need to do some machine learning okay and you are creating final uh, you can say the machine learning model uh, based on some accuracy after you identify that okay i am satisfying with it you need to do some model you can say the deployment so in order to do model deployment what you need to do you need to use machine learning operations okay after doing machine learning operations uh, you, 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 your uh, application will be live okay so if you see the pipeline of all these things so from uh, your ideation from ideation to the implementation and after implementation to the monitoring okay so all these domains comes under the data science okay so you are doing the job of you can say uh, the data analyst you are doing the job of the data engineer you are doing the job of uh, the machine learning engineer okay and research analyst every aspect is comes under the data science domain that is why this data science is very vast field okay and in order to uh, get uh, some you can say all these skills because as you see for machine learning you require the different different uh, libraries uh, uh, in order to do some uh, charts and uh, in order to draw some charts you need different softwares okay so you are requiring different different you can the softwares or the skill sets okay so all these skill sets you need to learn and i think that uh, that all the skill sets are provided on this nascom website there are so many courses are available on the nascom website okay some uh, courses are free just you to understand uh, what is uh, what is uh, the uh, data science is about okay what is this technology is about after identifying the technology if you are you can say the interest developed towards that technology and if you see that okay i can do it okay so you can also uh, opt for uh, uh, the advanced you can say the courses okay uh, from uh, nascom also okay so this is uh, an small overview of the data science where you are doing ideation you are doing visualization you are doing data cleaning you are doing you are collecting the data you are working on the data you are creating a machine learning model you are deploying it you are monitoring it okay so everything is done by the data scientist okay that is why the demand of the data scientist is very high in the market because he is all rounder <clears throat> okay so i think i just explained you what is the data science in, in very short way right so if yeah you i are... think thank, thank you with uh, thanks a lot uh, i think that was quite informative to all the participants who have joined today mm -hmm. uh, just wanted to mention to everyone uh, who have completed the course uh, which is data science for beginners uh, definitely they would have got a clarity on how to clear the exam also because ubed has shown that what kind of question comes as the same point of time he has you know given a link to resources which all of you need to study to prepare for the assessment people who have not uh, joined for the course as of now can go to future skills prime i believe uh, you know you have a future skill prime login id and uh, once you log in uh, on the search panel you can search for the program called data science for beginners by board infinity uh, so board infinity is our esteemed future skill prime partner who is giving this particular course for your learning so you can search for data science for beginners on future skill prime platform and you will get the course card and in that course card you can register for this after completing this particular course 
definitely you can take up the assessment you can take up the mock assessment at first and once you clear the mock assessment then the actual assessment uh, will be activated and you can take up the actual assessment and uh, ubed has already you know given you a complete clarity that you know what kind of question come in assessment how to prepare for that assessment so all these stuffs are there so definitely you will complete the course you will go through the course at the same point of time whatever ubed has shown that what are the resources to be additionally referred to for the preparation once uh, you complete that then then only you can go for the assessment then you will have a chance of scoring much better marks in that and as he has already shown you that you know you can get three category of certificate a gold category silver category and bronze category of certificate so uh, yeah the course link uh, if you have a login to future skill prime you can log into that and uh, can search for data science for beginners program uh, uh, course link i'm not sure rufina you have the course link actually i am accessing from mobile so vashish uh, i have it i'll i'll just paste it in yeah. the chat yeah, so yeah. so that if you can paste that course link on the chat for everybody who benefit uh, you can uh, do that so all of you will get the course link directly but once you click on the course link you will directly go into the course card and if you have a login if you do not have a login you have to create the login i assume all of you who have joined have already have the future skill prime login id so yes that's how it is if you have uh, we have maybe 5 10 minutes more uh, to take any questions so if you have any questions you have the best opportunity we have our expert uh, trainer uh, ubed available with us so uh, any any of one of you have any questions you can put it on the chat and we'll be happy to take that Uh, Ubed just wanted to check that you are mentioning about three uh, resources. So, is it that the uh, candidate will get all the resources from that W three uh, website which you have mentioned? Yes, uh, all the questions, hands on questions, you can say, uh, okay. are available on the W three resources. Okay, so okay. they can do hands on practice. Okay, great, great, fine. so it is from sql python basics pandas numpy matplotlib and so on so all the topics are covered on w3 resources and theoretical uh, 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 you can say concepts are covered on the geeks for geeks okay so the python and sql all the theory uh, resource uh, theory part is covered on this uh, geeks for geeks <clears throat> geeks for geeks uh, is there any url for that portal or it is a yeah. part of that two three only i think you no no it, 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 i i i have given this uh, link geeks for geeks also okay, so i i will just reshare it again yeah if you can reshare it once again that will be great so ideally you are suggesting that the candidate uh, should complete the data science for beginners program on future skill prime and after that they should practice on using these resources to be prepared for the assessment am yes, i right because because what happens if you just see the videos that are available on the board infinity's website mm -hmm. uh, you are just watching the video okay you are not doing the practice correct if correct. if you don't do the practice you cannot qualify any kind of examination Absolutely. even if it is a very simple exam you cannot qualify because you don't have the concept uh, you can create it in, in in your mind because if you do the practice just watching at the code you can i you guess the output okay so that will come after uh, only practice absolutely so thanks <clears throat> so anyone have any any other questions any further questions uh, you can ask ubed he will be happy to take that and answer that Uh, please put your questions on chat i think three people have raised their hands jaya mani and venkata sai do you have any questions
everyone please save these links that Ubed is sharing in the chat. Okay, so there are total four links I have shared in the chat. Okay, so two from Geeks for Geeks, one from W3 Resources, and one, one is from Career Icons. Okay, so you can go to these resources, and after going through all the resources, just try to uh, attempt to the mock exam. And after attempting to mock, mock exam, you attempt the main exam. I can see there is one question in the chat mentioning exam question mark question mark so I'm not sure what uh, would you like to know about exam yeah uh, Vishal Kumar Suman has posted about exam so I'm not sure what now how uh, to qualify the exam I I think he is asking what you okay. want to know us about examination okay so that, this, that's all no, no. that I have re replied to him that sort asked. of has replied yeah uh, so okay. we just want to know what is that you are looking for want to know about exam so that we can okay, answer okay. Okay, okay okay sorry so uh okay. Suman, just just trying to answer whatever you have asked as uh, ubed has also already mentioned that you have to complete the data science for beginners program and which is available on future skill prime once you complete that particular course there is a mock assessment which you need to give for which also, there is a link which has been shared by sort of. And uh, once you take up the mock assessment, after that, your final assessment card will be active and you can take that. Now, uh, once you complete the course, once you complete the mock assessment, then only you can take up the assessment. These assessments are online proctored assessment. So when you are registering for the final assessment by paying 600 rupees, you can pick and slot a date. Uh, you can pick pick a slot and date when you want to take up the exam, and you can appear for the exam. All these exams are online, and after you complete the exam, you will be getting the uh, about your result in your mail. <clears throat> and after a few days, you will be getting your certificate based on your marks, whether it's a gold certificate or silver certificate or bronze certificate. So everything is online uh, about the exam, uh, which is there. So course and exam, everything is online. You can we can choose a slot and you can take up that. I hope uh, I could answer your question, whatever you are trying to ask about exam. And one more thing uh, before appearing to the examination, make sure that your internet connectivity is good. Okay. And uh, every other, you can say the windows on your browser are closed because it is uh, artificial intelligence uh, proctored examinations. And if red flags are more, then uh, you will be uh, logged out from the examination okay and second one if uh, the internet connectivity loss then in order to reactivate that one uh, it uh, it require around 10 minutes okay to reactivate the same session okay so before going to the examinations make sure that you are having good internet connectivity So is there any question, anyone? All right, I guess there are no questions now. So thank you so much Ubed for your valuable time and giving so nice insights about this program and uh, assessment and sharing your experience with all of us. So again, thank you so much. And thank you so much for all the pa participants for joining in. Uh, so we are looking forward to all of you to uh, taking this exam and clearing this exam. and being NASCOM certified in data science. So thank you so much again for joining in. Thank you so much, Abed. Thanks.